CBS Young and the Restless News for Thursday's updates, January 13th, full episodes. Devin and Amanda have completed their lawsuit, regaining custody of Dominic. He prepared his and Dom's DNA test results. Sure, he's the boy's biological father, but is that enough for this war or not? Sharon is surprised with Noah and craves Tessa and looks at her lovingly and wants to love her. This is not good at all. She will teach her son to behave. And Nick Newman's family will be giving him a belated birthday celebration. In addition, Abby Chancellor will encourage Chance Chancellor. Abby said that if she had adopted a child without knowing who its biological parents were, they would be happy now. No need to worry about custody battles. The calculations seem to be wrong, but there are Abby's intentions. It's finally happening, and she shouldn't blame fate, but face it. That's how she became strong. Abby will tell him that she understands what it feels like to be not enough. What I learned is that parenting is a journey, and you just have to keep going. Nick is happy to have a sneaky birthday party, well prepared by everyone. They will jump up and say happy birthday, and Nick will tell them, all of you, come to me, I want to hug you because today... I'm the happiest person today and no one else. Mariah Copeland says she wants her family to unite. Most importantly, Nick and Sharon, can they get back together? Noah sits next to Tessa and constantly flirts, right in front of everyone. And Mariah's quite annoyed and wants Noah to stop this stupid act. It was a shirt that looked like he, the one he lost back in the 90s. Sharon would say it could actually be the shirt because she and Christian found it in the store, an old thing. Sharon and Tessa told everyone that they were going to adopt a baby, both thinking hard and waiting to act. The Huts have learned from Ab's adoption and don't want to get in trouble. Nick will be glad for them, too, and so will Faith. Mariah wants Tessa to stop having feelings for Noah, and they should end their relationship, or worse, become enemies. Devin is constantly haunted by being bothered by Dominic. He cries terribly, and Abby can't get him to stop. Only Devin can do that. This is also the driving force that Devin continues to work regarding custody. He needs me, and I'm not there for him. Of course she would say that he was dreaming about Dom. You love that baby, and of course you want to protect it. Devin is Dom's only father, and the boy will live happily and grow up to be a talented person if he is raised by him. Devin knows how to take care of and pamper the kids. That's his experience. Dominic needs times of his father to get acquainted to have a bond between them.